play everything now! What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the show. Today, I am talking about the things that I like and the things that I hate about the PS5 and PlayStation in general. The good and the bad. Now, I want to state that I am not involved in this console war. I have all the consoles, or the majority of the consoles, and I try to play most of them. Some are collecting dust, and we're going to get on those consoles in other videos when I do videos about those particular consoles. But today, it's all about PlayStation. And be sure to hit the subscribe button and the like button and the notification bell. It's free, it costs you nothing, and it helps the channel out immensely. Now, the good. They have good quality of life and good updates for their system when they are uploaded into the mainframe, which I like. In number two, they have excellent first party exclusive games. You gotta love Sony. Very strong in that category when it comes to exclusive games. Bar none, they are destroying the competition when it comes to that. Number three, the majority of third party titles play better on the PS5. Hands down. D hey, don't crucify me, Xbox fanboys. Listen, I'm not a fanboy of any system. I'm just telling you straight how it is. And at this point, PlayStation is destroying the game even with third parties. They play better. Some of them even look better. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. And they have the exclusives on top of that. That's crazy. That's number three. Number four, the system is geared towards gamers, casual gamers, and those who are trying to take gaming and make it a profession, and YouTubers. In particular, the ability to record your voice directly to the hard drive of the PlayStation and then extract it. You can also get party chat in your audio recordings, which makes it easier so you don't need an Elgato to be able to put out content. You can even edit the content on the PlayStation itself and then put it right to the internet, right to YouTube. You can't beat that or whatever is your particular you know, site that you're doing your business on. It is, that is beautiful. You can also live stream directly to YouTube. Directly to YouTube, functions that are missing on the Xbox. It's unbelievable. But we're going to do a video on Xbox. Number five, more accurate control with the controller and a better overall controller. The analog sticks are smoother, they're tighter, and they are more accurate. PlayStation wins with the controller and the innovation of the controller, especially the new one, right at this time. So hands down, they win in that category. If you don't agree, we can go to war in the comments. I'm sure we can start a war if that's what you want. PlayStation has a better gaming community. In my experience, when I go into multiplayer games and I try to join people's parties, it's always a problem on Xbox. When I come on PlayStation, I don't know anybody. I go into the game, ease of joining a party. It seems like the people are more friendly on PlayStation. Now, of course, you know, we get to the get down, <laughs> the back and forth sometimes, but that's all love and war in gaming. But in my experience, the community is a lot better. All right. We need y'all Xbox. Y'all need to fix up y'all community. Get that better. You have options on PlayStation because of the VR headset. If you're a VR gamer, you can game on your PlayStation 5 with just the VR and have a totally different immersive experience. That's a win. So you have options with that. VR is big. I love VR. And by the way, guys, I do have the VR. I had it since launch, but I've been concentrating on Like a Dragon and shit right now. Um, so I finished that game. I'm still going to be putting out uh, content on that, but we're going to start implementing that uh, VR in because there's some games that are coming out that I want. So next point. Sony actually cares about the gamer base, right? And they're not afraid to do new things and they take chances with new IPs and developers. Sony has always pushed the envelope, testing different type of games to see how they go. And they've listened to the gamers. 
this time with their console. And it even started back with the PS4. They listened to the gamers. It's a system for the gamers. So I'm glad that they listened and it's not all just business. Another major thing that I found out lately, I had a USB wireless mic and the PlayStation 5 has a USB-C input in the front. So I can plug in a USB-C input in the front of this beautiful PlayStation over there and do all my recordings wirelessly. This is going to come to effect when I do VR. So another plus, PlayStation 5 has the best 3D audio headset sound out of any system, bar none. More backward compatibility because of the size of the PlayStation library and of good games, I'm not talking about just junky games, their library for backward compatibility is the best, hands down. And back to the controllers, the haptic feedback is awesome. Can't beat those, those haptic feedbacks. Now, Moving on to the bad, and there's not much, but we're going to go into that. The design of the PlayStation 5, in my opinion, I feel it is horrendous. It is terrible. It stands out. You can't hide it. It's too big to fit in some entertainment systems. It's just blah in your face. I would have rather something that is sleek, muted, in the background just chilling, similar to the Xbox which is just all black and you can kind of hide that. I like that. So they, they, they lose on the design of the PlayStation 5. Just I think it's too bulky, too big. The base that the PlayStation is in is cheaper than wet toilet tissue. If you plug something into the back while having this unit horizontal in that base and you're not holding the front, you'll put something into the back, the unit will slide clean out of the base onto the floor, there goes your investment. So it is a very cheap base. Sony, step your game up. You can't have a high quality system with a cheap toilet paper base like that. Unbelievable. There should be some way to screw it in if you're going to have your console horizontal. You, if you have it vertical, you can screw it in through the bottom. You're pretty much left out to dry if you want to do it horizontal. So we need to, we need to do something with that, Sony. Even, give us a base. I would buy it. $20, 15 bucks for a base. Let's do it. Get on that. Another bad thing about Sony right now, they are not investing in their titles that they have, their backlog. We all know Sony has a large library of classic games that people want to play. Dive into that bag and start remastering them, redoing them from the ground up and bring them out. I'm pretty sure everybody will be grateful for that and they will be better than these newer games that we're getting now. So please, Sony, if you can get on that, please, because that's a negative right now. You need to invest. Sony tends to cancel and give up on great games before they have a chance to mature, i.e. Drive Club, fantastic looking game. It came out a generation before it should have come out. This should have come out on the PlayStation 5, but I have a conspiracy theory regarding Drive Club, and that's concerning GTA. Maybe they fear competition. I don't know. But they canceled that company out. And also, a game that they gave up on for another example is The Order. The Order was a great game. It had a good base. They canceled that game out. I don't know what was wrong with them. They should have. We should have part two for that game. Unbelievable. So last but not least is the stereo sound coming out of your stereo when it comes to PlayStation. It is not as impactful as the Xbox. That The Xbox has better sound coming out of the stereo system, uh, especially with the Dolby Atmos and uh, all of that good stuff. So we got to step it up on that end, Sony, because all gamers don't want to hear everything through the headset, although you have awesome headset sound. So if you guys agree, if you guys disagree, then be sure to let me know, let us know in the comments we can go back and forth to sort this thing out to see what is the deal with Sony, what is really the good, what is really the bad. Be sure to hit the subscribe button, the like button, and that notification bell. And I will see you on the next video. Peace and be safe.